Alright, how's it going? Um, I'm Grant Kedifin, I'm Global Director of Education for Nordic Ed. And um, what I want to talk about is just sort of stay on top of your game. And what that means is, uh, I was talking to a guy yesterday and he said, look, how am I expected to be able to back into the marina if I only go sailing once a year? Um, and, and he's right, right? How, how do you do that? So that's what we've got virtual reality for, is you can really just stay on the top of your game. And, and what I'm going to show you next is a little um, boo-boo mistake that I made um, in the marina just the other day, and I'm you know, too busy working instead of getting out on the boat myself. Um, and so what I did was able to jump into uh, virtual reality afterwards and just re, uh, reincarnate, <laughs> redo the... Um, situation I was in, in the marina. It was really tight. The wind was coming in a crazy direction and um, I just, you know, I wasn't thinking. Um, and that's the point. I'm quite capable of doing it. I just wasn't thinking when coming into the marina. And so um, what virtual reality does is just sort of allow us to stay on top of the game, practice uh, anything you need, um, either out sailing on the water here or um, in the marina. And look, pilots do it. Um, anybody practical does uh, virtual reality these days. The, the, the research is out. It's five times faster learning. Uh, you've got uh, higher retention rates. You can stay more competent. Um, so anyway, watch this video coming up of me doing a boo-boo. It's kind of fun. All right, cheers. So this is our uh, Genoa uh, 410. And um, this is such a nice sailing boat. It's just awesome. Um, we're in Lake Travis, and you can see by the other side here of the lake, it's a little tight getting into this marina. Uh, that's an overstatement. It's really tight getting in here. Um, today, wind was coming this way, um, so down, and then we have to like put the boat into the into the marina just like this, sort of perfectly. And um, Here's the point I'm trying to make on like virtual reality training. So today, um, I haven't done this in probably two years. The wind was coming this way. I, I can't even remember the wind was coming this way in the last time I was out, last, in the last year or so. So, um, typical fashion, came in just like normal, went to park the boat. Um, this boat has dual helms, but it's also got dual rudders. So. What happens is you cannot use prop wash over the rudder um, when you put the boat in forward because the rudders are on the side and the, um, the props in the middle. So you don't get any prop wash. So you have to use uh, dual rudder um, skills. Um, if you don't do a lot of dual rudder skills, it, there's some nuances that you need to learn. Um, so we came in, pointed the boat into the dock, went to use a prop wash, a prop walk, uh, to just you know walk the back of the boat in. Trouble is the boat got a little bit sideways, um, so the wind took over and overpowered the prop walk and we couldn't get the back of the boat in. Um, so that was a bit of a problem and then you can see it's quite close on the other side, so whew, uh, that was, you know, it was kind of stressful a little bit. So we managed to, so it's like, okay, we'll, we'll just go down. Uh, further down the, um, this tight area, it gets even tighter back there, and uh, straighten the boat up and then we'll back in. So that was my, um, that was the way that we resolved that issue. But look, if I had, um, you know, done this plenty of times, um, I would have known just go straight down there um, and then just back the boat in. That, that would have just been easy, and, and I should have done that. Um, I just haven't done it in a long time, and that's the point, right? So. With virtual reality training, you can do that. You you can train in any wind direction, any situation. Um, you train, and you just train every now and again, and you just keep your skills up. And that's the point to being competent is keeping your skills up. So if I had kept my skills up, um, being able to just come straight down here, just straight, but no, to back in here, not to just sort of trying to bring the boat in, um, uh, bring the bow in, and then try and walk the walk the stern and that, that that was just a bad idea today um so look you know we all make mistakes um mistakes come from not practicing and doing the things that you should be competent at at all times um that's where mistakes come in so um this is purely an advertisement for virtual reality 
uh, experience and training. In the virtual reality program, you can do docking, you can set the wind direction, um, any way you want to. You've got all kinds of different marinas that you can practice into. Um, so that's my point today. So we're just going to recreate that situation that we just heard and we're going to practice uh, that maneuver in this marina and everything in this marina is pretty much every situation you're going to come across um, and so what we were doing there was this was a little narrow gap in here and then we were trying to squeeze into a spot uh, very much like that um, and the wind was coming this way so uh, right now we can see the wind is coming across over here um, so we're going to change that to be the same wind that we had and then we're going to dial it up to about 10 knots or so and um, so right so we want to basically just squeeze in to the marina over there so let's go do this and remember we've got a dual helm with dual rudders and so we don't get the advantage of prop wash we do get prop walk but that's a different story um, and in this particular case we're going to use prop walk to our advantage because we're actually going to go down over here and we're going to back up into um, that slip there um, and the advantage of prop walk is going to make the stern uh, go that way so this is exactly the same situation that we had um, in the marina and so um, remember what I tried to do was just sort of drive right in there and that was sort of a silly idea because the wind going down like that and it got hold of the stern and was pointing me out here and got into a really sort of tight situation over here which was not so great. So this time we're being smart about it, um, we thought about it and we're just going to practice so that we don't get in that situation again. So we're going to go over here and then we're just going to back right in over there. So get some good little bit of throttle here. We know we're going to get a little bit of prop walk, so I'm going to stay away from that boat um, right there a little bit. Give me some room. And we're just coming in here nice and slowly. Keep going down. I'm going to straighten it up about now. I'm going to pretty much sort of get parallel uh, with that boat. And um, once we get parallel with it, then I'll just uh, just back right into that little slip there. So I think we're good now. Um, so let's put a bit of throttle on. A little bit of prop walk is going to kick in. Now remember, I can steer the boat, but I don't get any ability to use prop wash. So I'm just going to keep the momentum going. And what I really want to do is just get this back stern on, stern line. So if I can do that, then that's pretty successful. So let's click that on and tighten it up. And that was assuming that somebody was nice enough on the dock to throw it to us or us throw the line to them. Um, if not, we could have got a little bit closer. So now I'm just going to lock the cleat. Look, I'm on. I'm in the slip. The wind's blowing this way. So we're not going to get, we can do anything. We can just sort of hang out here. We can actually go get a drink if we want to. Um, nothing's going to happen. Now, um, I'd kind of like to be able to turn the wheel over this way and drive it forward. But again, the prop is right down here and the rudders are you know, right over here. So nothing's going to happen. So um, it's fine. Um, I can just go up front and I can take a line and I can go over to there and just pull us in. So um, I'm just going to jump up to the front of the boat and let's see if we can grab this line here onto there and then we'll just take this in and tighten things up there. And um, as far as we go, you know, we're on. So um, we'll clean things up later on, but that was certainly the way to do it. Um, and if I'd been practicing in VR a little bit more, um, I wouldn't have had that problem. So here's the wind directions, you can set them so we could practice this coming in um, with the wind direction coming from front, um, from sideways, uh, anyway. Cool. 